Hola, hi guys, I missed you so much. It's been a while since we had our last beauty pageant vlog, but now I'm back, nagbabalik because the Miss Universe fever has officially started as most of the girls have already arrived at the official venue of Miss Universe in Florida, USA. So now I will be sharing with you my top 5 contenders pre-preliminary from the Africa and Asia Pacific region. I always believe that this region has produced a lot of strong contenders within the last five years of Miss Universe edition under IMG. We have produced two Miss Universe crowns and a number of decent placement in the semi-finals. I commend the tremendous improvement, not just in styling of the delegates, but of course I would like to highlight their improvement when it comes to their speaking skills because nobody wins Miss Universe without a good and impressive rhetoric. It is a must because you will be a spokesperson of the Miss Universe organization by the time you win the title. So without further ado, I will be sharing with you my top 5 pre-preliminary contenders from the Africa and Asia Pacific region. Here we go. On my top five, I have Nepal. I like her beauty. I like the way she talks, the way she speaks. I love that she exudes much confidence when she projects in front of the camera. I never expected that she can speak this good and with proper styling and impressive passarella, she can be in the semifinals. So we better watch out for Nepal because she proves herself to be a dark horse in the competition. On my top number four, I have India. Well, the journey of India for Miss Universe hasn't been smooth because she was tested positive for COVID-19. I am so glad that she surpassed the trial because she is now in Florida for the competition. I like India. I like her confidence. I love her stunning beauty. It's like that when she speaks, it's hard for you to ignore her because this is, she speaks with so much passion, with so much conviction. She speaks from the heart and I could feel that as I watch her interviews. With India in the top five, it's a possible third crown for India this time. Also, I have Philippines, our very own uh, Rabia Mateo. I watched Rabia progresses from the time she won until now. And I am so amazed with her tremendous improvement, especially when it comes to physical appearance, styling, given the fact that she can speak so well. I like now that she's starting to be more relatable and with her, with her training and the team behind her, I am expecting that it's gonna be a good fight for the Philippines for our fifth crown this time. I also have South Africa. The power of South Africa in Miss Universe is still there. I can still feel that they are hungry for another crown. And with South Africa in the semifinals, penetrating the top 10 through top 5, it's a possible back-to-back -back win after Venezuela achieved that elusive back-to-back -back victory on 2008 and 2009. So we better watch out for South Africa because their hunger for the crown is, hasn't been done yet. And on the top of my list, I have Australia. I like her. She has also an Indian blood because she used to live in India 
and her family migrated to Australia. I like her confidence because when she speaks, there is conviction. I watched her interview and I was so enticed when she answered those questions. It's as if I am watching Catriona Grade 2.0 this time. And with proper passarela, with impressive styling, I believe that she is working to be in the semifinals. And this time, it's a possible crown for Australia after Jennifer Hawkins achieved their first uh, Miss Universe crown. And also a special mention, uh, I have Thailand, the girl behind 200 outfits. Thailand has been so consistent as well. And I also had Cambodia which is a possible uh, semi-finals placer from the African Asia Pacific region given also the fact that she can speak so well. So, ito na yun. Ito yung top 5 pre-preliminary uh, contenders from the Africa and Asia Pacific region.